Hey guys, I'm Ranger Ray and today I will be showing you how to import a photo off the internet into Rec Room Studio. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to now miss out on my future videos. Thank you, and let's get straight into the video. First, let's find a photo we want to import. You can use Google or any online site. I will use Rec.net as an example in today's video. Hmm, I like this one. To save the image, right click on the image and click on Save Image As. You can name the image file to whatever you want. I will label mine as example. After that, click save. Great job. Now that the image is saved to our computer, let's open up Rec Room Studio. In order for this to work, you will need access to Rec Room Studio. I will link the form application in the video's description. Now that Rec Room Studio is loaded up and we are in the room we want to import, let's get the image added. To this, first let's add the image into Studio from our save file. To add the image, click on Assets near the top left corner. After that, scroll down to Import New Asset. Let's find the photo we want. Here it is. Click on the photo file and then click on Import near the bottom right. Great job. Now the image is added to Rec Room Studio, but we haven't added it to the room yet. Let's head over to the Inspector tab near the Rec Room Room Profile. Click on Inspector. We can see that the image is ready to be added, but first we need to make the image 2D since it's a photo. To do this, scroll over to Texture Type near the top and click on Default. We will want to change it to Sprite 2D UI. After that, click Apply near the button. Now the image is ready to be added. Finally, to add the image, find it on your Assets tab. Oh, look, here it is. To add the image, click and drag into image into the room just like this. The image might look a bit larger or smaller. No need to worry, we can fix this. Simply, head over to Hashtag Scene and use the Scale and Rotate tool. We are almost done. Finally, we want to upload the image to the room and save. To do this, let's head over to the room profile. It should be located near the Inspector tab like I showed you previously. Click on Upload to Rec.net. You can add a description to your update so you can remember what you added. I will label mine as Example Photo. This is not required in order for you to save. After you have written your description, click on Start Build and Upload near the button right. It will take a few seconds for the update to save. You should see a yellow update image appear. The update will take a while depending on the size of the file, so please be patient. You will get a pop-up notification that say your build has been saved. Congratulations! You have saved your very first photo into Rec Room Studio. I hope this video was easy to understand. If you have any question, feel free to leave any comments on the video. Thank you, and be sure to hit the like button if you found this video useful. See you in the next video.